Okay, in this video on PSAT SAT prep, we're going to focus on how to convert between different units using rates of conversion that are either given or conversion rates that we know. Okay, in this question, I want you to notice that I changed the numbers from the question that you attempted on your Google form. And so I'm going to try to model for you how we're going to convert between what's given, 280 characters per second, and what we want, which is a value in words per minute. And so we're going to do this using conversion rates, or what we might call in a chemistry class, um, dimensional analysis. And so here's how that works. I'm going to start with the given value that I have for this printer, which is 280 characters, and that is all per one second. And I want to try to convert this value out of characters per second and into a new unit, words per minute. And so I'm going to do that using two conversion rates. And one of those conversion rates has been given to me in this question. It says, according to the convention, that one word consists of four characters. And so that's how I'm going to get from my current unit of characters to the unit that I want, which is a unit of words. And so here's what I notice is that I have characters in the numerator of this fraction. And so in order to cancel characters, characters needs to go in the bottom or in the denominator of my next fraction. So when I multiply this, I'm going to put characters down here in the bottom. And so how many characters are there per one word? Well, there are four characters for every one word. And since word and uh, one word and four characters are equal to one another, whenever I multiply by this fraction, it's like I'm multiplying by one. And as we all know, multiplying by one does not change the equality of the number. It's just, in this case, going to change the units. It's like when I change one foot to be 12 inches. One and 12 are obviously not the same, but when you put the unit on there, one foot and 12 inches are the same. And so what's going to happen now is that characters is going to cancel here from my units. And so now I'm in the unit words per second, which means I'm halfway to the unit that I want of words per minute. And so now I need another conversion factor uh, which will get rid of seconds and put me into minutes. And so if I think about it, I know that for every 60 seconds, that equals one minute. So the question then becomes, where do seconds and, and minutes need to go in my next fraction? Well, notice here that I have seconds in the denominator of the fraction here, which means that when I go to put my next fraction here, I need seconds to be in the numerator and I want to convert two minutes, which is going to put that in the denominator. And so what do I know about seconds and minutes? I know that for every 60 seconds, that equals one minute. And so again, I see that here I have seconds in the denominator. Up here I have seconds in the numerator. And so those are going to cancel. And so the unit that I'm going to end up with and the unit that I wanted here is going to be words divided by minutes, or another way to say that would be words per minute. And then I'm just going to multiply uh, these numbers together and divide accordingly uh, in order to get the answer. And so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna multiply this 280 right here by this 60, which is in the numerator over here. Obviously, I'm gonna obviously multiply by this one as well, but that's not going to do anything to change the numerical value, and then I'm going to divide by the four that is right here. So when I multiply 280 by 60, and then I divide that result by four, I'm gonna end up with 4,200, and that's going to lead me to answer C.